The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples approached Jesus and said, Why do you speak to the crowd in parables? He said to them in reply, Because knowledge of the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven has been granted to you, but to them it has not been granted. To anyone who has, more will be given, and he will grow rich. From anyone who has not, even what he has will be taken away. This is why I speak to them in parables, because they look but do not see, and hear but do not listen or understand. Isaiah's prophecy is fulfilled in them, which says, You shall indeed hear but not understand. You shall indeed look but never see. Gross is the heart of these people. They were hardly here with their ears. They have closed their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their hearts, and be converted, and I heal them. But blessed are your eyes because they see, and your ears because they hear. Amen, I say to you, many prophets and righteous people long to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga sa inyong lahat, mga kapatid. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Pakibati nga ng good morning ang ating mga katabi. Good morning po sa ating lahat. Magdala po ng payong. Meron pong uh, warning ang pag-asa ng heavy downpour today to our only online online parishioners. Your prayers are also with us in our Mass today. We pray in a special way for all those who have been affected by this typhoon, Egay, and also to all of us who in one way or another are in great trouble nowadays. In the midst of the thunder and lightning in your life, in the midst of the chaos around us, God can still be felt. He is still very much present. We go back to the book of Exodus. We had a little interlude with the Feast of St. James and with the Feast of Joachim and Anne. But now we're back to an exploration of the book of Exodus. The book of Exodus is divided into three sections. The first section is the children of Israel in Sinai, chapters 1 to 15. The second section of the book of Exodus is the journey from Egypt to Mount Sinai. That means their wanderings in the wilderness. That is in chapter 16 to 18. 1 to 15, the Israelites in Egypt. 16 to 18, the journey to Sinai or the wandering in the wilderness. In our first reading today, we go to the time when we go to the third section of the book of exodus the 19th chapter of the book chapter chapters 19 to 40 of exodus will be the time when they will forge a covenant with god in mount sinai and our first reading today is their initial contact with the lord at the foot of the mountain 1 to 15, children of Israel in Egypt. 16 to 18, the wanderings in the wilderness. And 19 to 40, the covenant in Sinai. So it's not really accurate to say that the Israelites were wandering in the desert for around 40 years. Yes, they were in the desert, but they were not always wandering. They settled at the foot of Mount Sinai, and you find that today they arrive at Mount Sinai, and God appears to them in thunder, in lightning, in smoke. 
and the whole mountain was covered with smoke because God appeared to them in fire. And there was this sound of trumpet blast all around. And there was some sort of chaos and so much noise around them. And Moses was telling the people, get ready. In three days' time, the Lord shall meet us. You wash your garments. Let us sanctify ourselves because the Lord will come to visit us. And indeed, on the third day, God spoke to Moses and God revealed himself to the children of Israel. And God instructed Moses, you go up to the top and I'll make a covenant with you and through you. In the midst of the thunders and lightnings of our lives, in the midst of the chaos and noise around us, God is still very much present. Ang alam natin, para makita natin ng Diyos, kailangan mapanatag muna ang lahat. Kailangan mapayapa muna ang puso o kalmado ang paligid para masabi natin na God is here. In our readings today, God can be seen and felt and discovered if only we have the eyes to see and the ears to hear. And that's our gospel from Matthew chapter 13 today. They look, but they do not see. They hear, but they don't understand, says the Lord. Pinaparating po sa atin sa araw na ito na ang presensya ng Diyos ay tapat, banayad man o masama ang panahon. Kahapon po kami mga pari ng vicariato, I belong to the vicariate of San Fernando de Lao, just in case you don't know, ang atin pong simbahan ay nahahati din sa iba't ibang mga subdivision. And the priest of the vicariate of Paco went up to Baguio yesterday to have some retreat or uh, some meeting. At tamang-tama naman po, no? kung kailan man Baguio, tsaka naman kami nandun sa Baguio. And the whole mountain was covered with fog. And you can hardly see the road. And we were telling each other, ito na ang sinasabi sa aklat ng Exodo. Binalot ng Diyos ang buong bundok ng kanyang presensya. It was as if God was embracing us with the fog all around. Napunta na po ba kayo sa bagyo ng napabalot siya ng fog? It was such a wonderful feeling to be fully embraced by the smoke, by the cloud, by the fog, and you feel the, the, the coldness of the air, and you feel that God is here. Kahit sobrang lamig, at dalawang araw kaming hindi nakaligo. Pero nandun ang Diyos, kasi brown out po sa Baguio yesterday and the other day. So, talagang makikita mo rin na sa gitna ng mga kaguluhan ng buhay ng tao, kahit sobrang lamig o kaya kahit sobrang masama ang panahon, mararamdaman mo pa rin ang Diyos sa iyong buhay. Brothers and sisters, we don't wait until everything comes down that we discover God in our midst. He is with us in thunder and lightning. Nagsisimula pa lang ang kanyang pakikipagniig sa bayan ng Israel sa bundok ng Sinai. For the next few days, we will see what will happen to the children of Israel and Moses and God in Mount Sinai. But now, we have entered into the last section of the book of Exodus, which will run from Exodus 19 to 40 up to chapter 10 of the book of Numbers. Ito po yung puso ng buong unang aklat ng Biblia. Yung pakikipagtipanan ng Diyos sa mga Israelita sa bundok ng Sinai. And we will know the story eventually how God remains faithful and present while the people would go and become unfaithful. Today, we ask the Lord to reveal Himself to us. We ask the Lord to give us the eyes and the ears 
to understand and to see Him in our life. Sa gitna ng mga pagsubok at gitna ng mga paghihirap na ating pinagdadaanan, andyan ng Diyos. Kasama natin ang Diyos. The other day, around two days ago, again, another parishioner came to me and really, hinahabol siya ng nautangan niya. Staffa ang kinaso sa kanya. At may, um, may court order na na natanggap siya at hindi na niya alam kung saan magtatago. Sabi ko, hindi ka naman pwede magtago dito sa payos kasi. <laughs> Pero gulong, 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 gulo siya. Kasi hindi niya alam paano haharapin ang napakatinding problema. Pag-stapa kasi, hindi mo alam kung paano babayaran o kaya ay lulusutan. To make the long story short, sa mahaba-habang kwento, ang sabi niya, Pangino, Father, tulungan niyo na ako magdasal. Hindi ko alam kung saan ako pupunta eh. Just help me pray about this. I don't know how to... And, 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 and her husband doesn't know about it. Hindi rin alam ng asawa niya yung sitwasyon niya. At hindi alam ng asawa niya na wala na silang pera. So hindi niya alam kung saan siya pupunta. And she was just praying and praying and crying and crying. I was just telling her, courage, courage. Hindi ko na alam ang solusyon dyan. Hindi ko na alam kung paano tutulong. But courage. Courage in the midst of this. You will get through this. In the midst of the chaos in your life. The Lord is here. Let us cling to the Lord. I cannot give you a solution to it just right now. Hindi ko, hindi ko naman maalam paano solusyon na niyan. Pero hindi mo rin alam kung ano magagawa ng Diyos para sa atin. At para sa iyo. Sometimes, friends, in the midst of the chaos, you, 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 you cannot do anything except to say, Lord, you are here. You are here. We believe in you. We believe in you. You are with us. Maraming beses sa buhay ng tao, magulo. Hindi lang natin, hindi lang natin lang kung saan pupunta. Pero ang Diyos, in the midst of the thunder and lightning, in the midst of the storm, God is with us. So we pray for courage in the midst of chaos that we may cling to the Lord no matter what. Thank you for coming to our Mass today and also to our online parishioners. Thank you for praying with us. After the Mass, we will have our healing prayer through the relics of Santa Maria Goretti and Ezekiel Moreno. Yes, it is true that God is in the stillness and silence but he is also very much present in the thunderstorms, in the lightnings, in the storms of our lives. So it is also true that in our chaos and trials and tribulations, God is there with us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may our loving God bless you and your family, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has been offered. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen.